All right, everyone. This is for all signs, with human beings, chipmunks, raccoons, don't care what you are. But uh, it is the reading on the full moon energies in Cancer and how those energies are blending with the node shift and the Mercury retrograde that's happening around it, both of which I have pulled all signs readings on and I encourage you all to watch so that you understand the energies that are happening around things. And it'll help you understand this reading a little more because spot down the middle of a node shift and Mercury retrograde, for about a two-week period of energy, we've got the full moon in Cancer, which is, well, it's the official end, uh, uh, lunar new year-wise anyway, uh, year-wise anyway, it's the official end of 2021. It's kind of ending here on the 17th or so of uh, January. Uh, the Chinese New Year starts with the Aquarius New Moon, usually, you know, the top of the lunar year and all of that, um, which is the next moon on February 1st, I believe, something around there. Um, the, but uh, my large Cancerian following should pay close attention to this reading because uh, you're ruled by the moon, and this is your moon. This is your full moon. It is, for Cancerians, the end of 2021 right now, but it is for all of you. And I say Cancerians, but I also, it's for everybody, Even, especially if you have cancer somewhere in your chart, it's especially for you. Cancer is the only sign that's ruled by the moon. And the moon, and re re the reason I say it's for all of you, the moon leaving astrology out of the mix completely. The moon is, as I've told you before as an energy reader, the second most influential and powerful energy that we deal with around us on a daily basis. Um, it is an object that is strong enough, especially when it's full in particular, to st actually stretch the earth. It pulls the oceans from one side to the other. As it does that, it actually stretches the earth itself. I don't even think Superman can do that. That's, that's some strong shit. Um, that said, we're going to pull a reading on the influence of the full moon energy, and I very rarely get a pre-shuffle. I, before I hit record, I laughed, because I very rarely get a pre-shuffle where I say, what the fuck am I going to do with this? Oh my God. Well, it starts nice. It, it is. It's a, it's a queen of cups. It's the biggest card of love I could pull, and it's right there. And I did two pre-shuffles, and she came up both times on the top. It gave me this. I said, give me another angle on this, because I, you know, I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I shuffled again, and I got the same fucking thing. And I shuffled for like three or four minutes. I, I wasn't fucking around. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is a general reading. May or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This is not timeless, technically, although it might apply in the next full moon in Cancer. In some way, the energies around it will be different. But, the, but this is the energies around this. And it's a full moon in Cancer, which is always very important. Uh, and it is uh, surrounded by a node shift, which I did a reading on, and Mercury retrograde, which will be affecting Venus retrograde, which I did a reading on. So here's my pre-shuffle. You ready? <laughs> Queen of Cups. How's this affecting your person? What's what's the other side going to do? You know, and again, this is it's almost giving me broad spectrum energy. That's why it's confusing. So you might be able to apply some of this to yourself. Just do the flip on the reading. Just, just flip it back on you. I mean, this can go either way, I suppose. But if you got a runner that you're waiting on with all the energies around here, they're in their fields a lot. Nine of Pentacles as well. It's going to make someone, and I've said this a million times, I'm tired of saying it. I sound like a unicorn tarot channel. But it's going to make them want to chase their rainbows. It's going to make them find their independence because they're, they're realizing that love is the most powerful force in the universe. It is. It's the most powerful energy. It's where we come from and it's where we go back to when we die. They're realizing that if they want their independence, it lives in the cups. Mm. It doesn't live in the pentacles. It, happiness isn't there. The pentacles may pay your bills and all that kind of stuff. But if you're miserable, there's plenty of people who take their own lives that got plenty of pentacles. You know, for reasons being, most of the time, they don't have the cups. This person's feeling the cups. You know, they really are. And right there, walking away from what they don't want. That proves it. That's why I read the Nine of Pentacles that way. The Eight of Cups. Eight broken cups. Bye-bye. There's your person, male or female, walking toward 
the, the rainbow. You don't get a rainbow without the sun. In case you're a smart ass and you said, well, that's not a rainbow, Steve. That's the sun. You need the sun to get a rainbow. She's walking toward the happiness. The nine of cups, the sun, whatever you want to call it. Right there on the card. They do get in their head about it, though. Your person is your person. The nine of swords. They're worried here. Mm-hmm. About some kind of... Well, it's fears, but it's some kind of secrets. We saw it the other day. We saw some secrets. Mm, ten swords. I'm going further than I, I should here. I'm already past my five. I'm just looking at what comes after this because I didn't see it. Ten swords crossed by eight of pentacles. It's somebody, again, this moon energy is helping somebody realize that, that the happiness doesn't live in the pentacles. That's the easiest way to put it. And this has been our problem all fucking year since I've been here. I got here, what, February or something, 2021. I haven't been here that long, but it's been our problem. Let's go. Let's let's give the deck a shuffle. Let's see. This is this is a particularly powerful Cancer full moon because because of the node shifts and, and the Mercury retrograde, fuel and Venus retrograde. This is some shit. All right, it's always a very powerful moon, but this is, you know, Cancer full moon on crack. All right, let's go. I am shuffling the deck here. Give me the uh, soulmate cycle energies, uh, energetic effect of the full moon in Cancer on the 17th. And this effect will linger a couple of weeks, which is fine. That, that means it's there the whole time for Mercury retrograde. Even when Mercury hooks up with Venus and Capricorn, it's there, that full moon energy. It's just supercharging everything. It's like nitrous oxide in your car. It's a little tank and it pumps nitrous oxide into your intake. Right, and it helps the fuel burn hotter. You get that instant blast of horsepower out of it. It really is. It's like a tank of nitrous oxide in a car, giving it some extra blast. Let's see where we go. This first card that's going to come out here is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? It's my why the fuck are we here position. So why the fuck are we here? Why am I here? Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I ask the question and then I look at the card. Uh, it's a really upset random white girl. Basically, um, <laughs> male or female, it's the Eight of Swords. Um, yeah, it's I can dig it. I, I don't want to defend the fuckwits of the world, but I can dig it. It is a somebody feels like their hands are tied. Somebody is is the victim of their own choices. They made some choices, all right, and they realized after the fact. This is just general, okay? They realized after the fact. Oh shit, I fucked up. But now they feel like their hands are tied. But the problem is, yeah, her hands are tied, but they're not. She can untie that. They're tied in the front. It's a really bad kidnapper, like I always say. Someone who needs kidnapping school. You don't tie the hands in the front, leaving the fingers free to move around. Right? At least put a gag on her. I, mean, I don't want to teach kidnappers, but I could. Okay, I'm smart enough. Anyway, I wouldn't tie someone's hands in the front. They are not trapped. Their hands are not tied, is my point. It's, they're an excuse machine. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm right. Oh, I read that motherfucking right. I did. It's the Five of Pentacles. Leaving themselves out in the cold. They're not trapped. This is the absolute epitome if you don't understand the hands tied in the front. I don't know how she could get out, Steve. I don't know. I, I have no idea. And yeah, that's what you sound like. You certainly can see this visual. There's a key right there. She, oh, I can't get in. My hands are tied. I can't do anything. There's a key right there, you shithead. Put it in the door and go in. It's right there. They're doing it to themselves. Their hands, I am telling you, their hands are not tied. They're making excuses. But on the plus side, they do want, as we saw in the pre-shuffle, they now realize that pentacles are not where the happiness live. That is a fucking miracle. A miracle is happening at the Cancer Full Moon if that epiphany hits your person. Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, let's shuffle the deck here. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. The next card will come out, be by our, our overall energy at the bottom of the deck. It crosses the Eight of Swords. Okay, let's see here. Basically, the Eight of Swords in the Lightseer deck is a dumbass random white girl who's too stupid to figure out that she can untie the damn ropes. That's pretty much, I mean, I'll put it coldly and say it like that. 
She's too goddamn stupid to figure out that she can get out. I don't know how I can get out of this. Well, you're an idiot. Okay? And a fuckwit. How about that? Let's shuffle the deck. Give me a reading, universe. It knows what I mean by that. Give me a reading. I mean, the soulmate cycle, the affecting energy of the full moon in Cancer on all the other energies. That's the intention I put out. Oh, it's going to be, this is going to be a powerful reading. To quote old Bob Ross, I'm going to say what he often said sometimes when he was going to do something on a painting that was a little wild. He'd say, let's get crazy. All right? Just like that. And the same accent, too. How about that? Let's get crazy. This is going to be crazy because it's having me shuffle like a motherfucker. Oh, my God. And it gives me the most powerful... Yeah, let's get crazy. It gives me the most powerful card in the deck. It's the, it's the world. It's happiness. Look how happy she is. Everything's come full circle. Right here. Oh, little tie-dye dress. Right? It's wonderful. It's terrific. I'm afraid to look what's fueling it. You can hear it in my voice. It's wonderful. Yeah. They know that pentacles aren't happiness. They're, they're figuring that out. A cycle is fixing to end and a new cycle is fixing to begin. One where your person, male or female, wears a little tie-dye dress. How about that? What's fueling it? Their own shit. I knew it. You heard it in my voice. I didn't look. It's the seven of pentacles. It, it took a while. This took a spell. This is divine timing. It can be somebody sitting on their hands. It's just getting in their own way a little bit. The seeds that were planted long ago by this connection are growing. I've been saying that all month. You, you've seen people turning around in the energies. You saw my Q1 quarterly, first quarter of 2022 reading. That's what January is about. Yeah, they're figuring it out. It's about fucking time, but it took a spell. It's divine timing, though. They, this card tells me for for all of you, you're going. It's going to happen at different time intervals. You're all dealing with a different person. I hope. Okay, but a reading where the whole reading is clarifying the world. Okay, the most powerful card in the major arcana. This is pretty rare to have this as our overall energy. Yeah, you could bet there's going to be an extended here. We're going. You, you can bet we're going to need to call up old SLT version Doctor Phil on this. Because I see it, I saw it in the in the pre in, in the pre cut, the um, Eight of Swords. They are, they're not trapped, and with that Five of Pentacles following it, it's true. It's some you know. Oh, I cho it's someone who chose wrong. Here's the energy: someone who chose wrong. They're the victim of their own choices, but they can still make new choices to get out. We often often say the road of destiny, right? The road of destiny. You're driving down the road. And there's all sorts of turns that you can turn, you know, pre-paved roads, just like when you're driving. You can turn down South Street or Maple Street or whatever. Fine, but they're not all good. Sometimes when you're driving, right, and you turn somewhere, you realize about halfway down the street that, oh, I'm looking for the elementary school, then this ain't the right street. There's a prison here. They wouldn't put a prison next to an elementary school. Well, they would have in the town I grew up in, but not, not most people, okay? Uh, so you realize, oh shit, I've gone down the wrong street. So what do you do? You, you just correct. You auto-correct. You turn the car around and you go back to the main road. You get back on the main road and you go up to the street you were supposed to go to. Maybe something a little better. That's it. Nobody's ever trapped. There's no such thing as trapped. It's all, it's, it's nine times out of ten, 9.999 times out of ten, it's all in your head. People are just excuse machines. They try to find the easiest route, the path of least resistance. But is the path of least resistance not being happy? I don't think so. I think that's foolish. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels in the emotions. 3D, I'm going to dig. Right here, this is going to be a good reading. The world is here. Oh, I fucking love it. Right here is how they feel in the soul about you. Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Because it's bullshit. Roles can be reversed, but I hope the fuck they're not. I hope, this ain't, I hope that this ain't you I'm pulling on. God, please don't let that be. Don't. Right here. Is the, uh, it, but if it is, I hope you listen. Uh, the hidden energy is right here. The, mes the message from the universe. I'll tell you what she says. It's red with the energy of the connection. And right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because nobody can predict free will. I'll clarify everything. Throw some universe cards over the top. And you bet you're sweet. And they are sweet. Human. 
chipmunk, raccoon, bear, weasel, I don't fucking care, asses, there's going to be a link for an extended in the description. And I'm gonna, well, I have a feeling here, we've got some wicked voodoo uh, fixing to happen here. This is unreal. What's the energy of the connection? First card out after the world. Four of swords. S stop. You just hit the stop button on the cassette player. <laughs> stop. Somebody, it, it, my hands are tied. Look, it's the same message as the, as the Eight of Swords. It, it really is. It's somebody who's doing nothing. And I even got, again, I said that the energy, re rewind, I said it. The energy of this had a little bit of that sitting on their hands thing. You know, there, there isn't time. He's got, he's got to have other things to do besides watch a plant grow. Okay. He's got to have other things. There isn't time. There's, no, there's not going to be any fruit on that for a little while. It, it, and a watched pot never boils. Okay? It, it's, we, it's a little bit of a watched pot never boils. Somebody's overthinking. Somebody made bad decisions, got themselves into something. They, they, they know they screwed up. Fine. If you know you screwed up, you turn the car around, go back to the freeway, and get back on the damn freeway and take the correct exit next time. You don't. What you don't do is what this person's doing. They've turned down the wrong road. And they realize they turned down the wrong road, so they just pull the car over and shut it off. And they're just going to sit there with no food and water pissing in a bucket until they die, basically. Why are you doing that? I'm knocking on their window right now. Hey, why are you doing that? You could just turn the car around. Is your car broken? I could take a look under the hood for you. you know. it, it doesn't make any sense. It, the person's an excuse machine. How, how do... Uh, how do they feel in their emotions? This ought to be fucking good. I haven't looked at any of these. I like the surprise. It, well, look, look what came back. This is how they feel. The card that came after the cut, after the Eight of Swords, which is basically the same energy I'm getting off of this Four of Swords, all right, is right here. It came back again, the Five of Pentacles. If you remember I told you about the key that this asshole can put in the door? Dumbass. Right here, it's, it's the story I just told you. They've pulled the car off, they turned around the wrong street, pulled the car, rather than turn the car around, go back on the freeway and get to the right street, they, they just pulled the car off to the sides and they're just sitting there. Well, I'm, I guess I'm stuck, I guess I'm screwed. I turned down the wrong street. Well, okay, but you're still in your car. You can just go turn around and, you know. I mean, what the fuck? This is a great big what the fuck reading. I love the full moon in Cancer. But I'm loving the, I'm really loving the full moon in Cancer this year. Because I, I know where this energy's going. But I, I have to point this out to you so you know who you're dealing with. Who or what. Alright? Red flags are great, but if you don't see them, you know, you, they'll hit you in the fucking face. I'm telling you where they are. I'm telling you where the flaws in this person's logic is. Um, right here, um, how do they feel in the soul about you? Look at this temperance temperance this is it it's fucking mind-blowing it's the angel you they're sitting in the car refusing to turn around and go back to the road because their hands are tied they say in are out of gas I'm looking at the gauge and it says half a tank I don't think you're out of gas uh, you're just making excuses no it's out of gas uh, you know it says half a tank if it's out of gas you know, you know. what it's right here. It's bookending this. They had the cars working fine. It's got plenty of gas in it. Angel, they, their their soul is actually knows what to do. Is what this means here. Their soul knows what to do. It's a card of communication when it falls here. Actually, in the soul position, it really is. What the fuck? I can't wait to clarify this. Hidden energy. What's the universe want to tell us? Oh, I can't wait. It's red with the four of swords. Oh, look. Three of wands. Another girl. Who, another. What is it with your person? If, if your person's a dude, because these are all girls here, except for in their soul, they're, they're the shit. Okay? In their soul, your person's the shit. I have respect for that card falling there. That's why your souls are in love. Right? Your soul wouldn't. You're, you're the shit, my divine feminine. Your soul wouldn't be in love with someone whose soul was lump of coal crap no it's beautiful beautiful soul energy it really is but if your person's a dude i'm just going to tell you they're a pussy because i got three girls here and all three of these girls i'm pretty sure got pussies they are a pussy or as my father would call them a candy ass 
Yeah, they are right here. She afraid to go with oh, but there's Portuguese man of war in there. There's all kinds of the universe is saying they're right on the edge, Steve. They're right on the edge. They're just making excuses about jellyfish and Portuguese man of war, and there could be a killer whale out there. Oh my God, a killer whale. They don't come this far south. You got palm trees and shit and tiki torches. No fucking killer whale out there. Good Lord. Oh, oh my God. Just reach out. Put the key in the door. Jump in the water. Get out of the nest. In their soul, this is a really good... It's, it's nice. It's nice. A cycle is trying to change. Also a girl on the card, a fourth pussy. Okay, great. Right here, potential final outcome. What is it? Red with, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And if your person's a girl, that's obvious. But anyway, right here, we'll, we'll use my father's vernacular of candy ass uh, so we don't offend the prudes. Right here, the potential final outcome. It's red with this. Will she put the key in the door? Will she? I haven't looked. I don't know. Will she? We'll find out after these messages. I love doing that. I always hope it goes to a fucking commercial. I do. Ah, the Seven of Wands. Yes, for most of you, they will put the key in the door, but they do it reluctantly with a resting bitch face. Okay? It's all chicks on the table except their soul. Mm. And I'm not saying, you know, and I'm not saying women are chicken. You know, I'm not saying because the chi I'm just making a joke. I'm just making a reference. If you're, I said if your person's a dude, they're a pussy. They're a candy ass. Right? I'm not saying women are. Women are braver than men. There's no doubt about it. They always are. And, and I see it in children, too. Little girls are far braver than boys. Big time. They grow up much faster. They, they mature much faster. Absolutely. So, so don't, I don't want to hear nothing from some fucking feminist yelling at me. Well, you shouldn't say things like that. No, fuck off. I'm saying this, whoever this is, male or female, they're, they're, they're coming in, but, but they're coming in reluctantly. They've, it's, it's a strange energy I get off the Seven of Wands. It's a defensiveness energy. There, it, it's, the Seven of Wands has several meanings. It's a tough card to read. You have to look at what's around it and feel the energies in my case. But it's someone standing up doing what's right for them is one of the meanings. But, and defensiveness is another meaning. It's those two together here on this card. I find that very interesting and I can't wait to find out why that is and I'm going to clarify right now. Let's go. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why the fuck is the Four of Swords here? Why? Why, 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 why? 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 Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is it here? Okay. Woe is me. I'm a, it's a woe is me energy. I'm just going to phrase it like that. It's the five of cups, the sad horse, it's regret. It's what I told you already. I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. Okay? It's what I told you. It's someone's made, someone is the victim of their own choices. I wonder if this person has a victim mentality. Does your person always play the victim? I mean, for some of you, it might. But regardless, they're playing it now. They're, they're saying that you know they're in their fields. The moon is putting them in their fields, as I said. And they know that pentacles isn't happiness. They know they need the cups, and they're feeling it big. It's going to peak around the full moon. Your person's urge to reach out to you, you mark my fucking words, is going to peak around the full moon. It will. Big time. They, you're going to be picking up on that energy. So if you have a day where you're feeling a little weird and antsy or whatever it is, anxious, whatever, on the, on the full moon, I'm, don't be surprised. I am telling you why right now. Because this is someone, again, who is the victim of their own, their own decisions, who is claiming that their hands are tied when they're not. Okay? And, and it's, it's a woe is me energy around this five of cups. This is gonna. This is. This was an important reading to do. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it was gonna get drowned out by the other energies. But no, this full moon is taking center stage with the node shift and the Mercury retrograde. It truly is. And look, the Eight of Cups. Seeing a lot of cards. Uh, well, one anyway so far from the pre-shuffle here. Yeah. Well, two from the after the cut. But uh, uh, and this is a different deck. So that's really that's really telling. Eight of Cups. Yeah. 
they know what they have to do. Okay? It takes bravery to do this. Eight of Cups. To walk away from something. I don't see the bravery here. I call. I, how, how can I? I just called your person a candy ass not long ago. Uh, I don't see the bravery here. I don't. The sun. Jesus. They know what they have to do. They are aware. They are awake. Wide awake. Pfft. Somebody open the blinds while you're sleeping and the sun's high in the sky. Pfft. They're wide awake. Wide awake. They know exactly what they have to do. And this is all crossed by a woe is me energy. Woe is me. My hands are tied. Oh, I can't reach that key. Oh, it's all the way over there. In the soul, this is a beautiful energy. I can't wait to clarify that. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is... what? Why? Oh, I'm afraid to ask. But tell me anyway. Why, why, why? Why, 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 why? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Jesus. Why do I feel like I know what's going to come out? I haven't looked yet. All right. This is encouraging. It's close to what I thought. It's the page. It's not what I thought, though. The page of wands. Yeah. Notice I said what I thought. No, it's not what I feel in the energy. What I feel in the energy, this, yeah, they want to reach out. The page of wands. It's brave. I finally see some bravery. But, but, but it's a crossing card. It's the affecting energy. What the universe is saying here is exactly what I just said. I don't see the bravery. It's going to take, it takes a lot of bravery, the Eight of Cups. You should respect someone who's Eight of Cupsing. Someone who's walking away from Eight Cups that are just broken. We can't work on it anymore. The way my life used to be is shit. And now I'm going to change my life and walk toward my happiness. That takes a lot of bravery. I didn't see it here. I think they know what they need to do. Right here, the universe is saying the same thing. They need to be at least a little bit brave to grab the key. I asked, why isn't this person grabbing the key? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Because they need to muster it up a little bit. The, the Page of Wands is, is, is a fiery energy. It's a brave, curious little page. You know, the bravery of a child. Children will do anything. They'll go anywhere. They'll walk anywhere. Hey, you always got to yell at them. Hey, don't go in there. Don't touch that. Right? What you doing putting your tongue on the light socket? What do you, what do you, you know, you always have to do that. Because they're just curious. They just do stuff. They need a little of that energy. Ace of Cups. There's the love. There it is. It's big. They know and it comes out right after, technically in my reading, the sun. They are aware of the feelings. They're going to be in their feels on this full moon in Cancer. Could there be anything else with Cancer being a, a cardinal water sign ruled by the fucking moon? No. Eight of Pentacles. The, the Ace of Cups, I, the Eight of Pentacles is here. I ask why the Ace of Cups is here. The Ace of Cups is a sealed cup of love. Why is this cup of love sealed? Why is this girl not going in the uh, door with, with a key leaning on? It, it's right here. They're aware of all the, that, that pentacles aren't happiness, yet they're still focusing on, pa on pentacles. It's someone who goes around and around and around and around and around. Okay? It's, it's like someone, it's, I, don't even, I don't even have an analogy because it's just, it's just annoying. It's someone who is aware. They're keeping this cup sealed because they're distracting themselves with other things. And part of what they're distracting themselves with is a woe is me energy like the Eight of, eight, eight of Swords as well before the cut of thinking their hands are tied. Well, I made bad decisions. I turned down the wrong road. I guess I'm screwed. I'm just stuck here. I'm going to die in the car. Well, no, just turn, just turn the car around, go, go back. But they're not. They're, they're just sitting, sitting. That's, that's where their feelings are. But I, I'm not surprised. And I'll tell you why. It, it, the, the moon is like a deer in the headlights for this person. Because we opened with the Queen of Cups. It's the most love for me. It's the biggest card of love I can pull. The universe gave that to me twice. I told you I pre-shuffled twice. It's a very important message. That one card, that Queen of Cups that the video opened with. It's a deer in the headlights situation for this person. So they're just sort of stunned. I'm pulling on their feelings here. Their emotions in the 3D. Yeah. They're scared shitless is what all that adds up to. And they need to be a little bit brave, like that child sticking its tongue in the light socket. What are you doing? I mean, it's stupid. Sometimes pages are stupid. But, you know, 
it is what it is. It does, you know, they'll do anything. They'll go anywhere. They need, the universe is saying they need a little of that energy. Wise temperance here. The soul is beautiful, though. Your souls are in love. You're tied. It's a wonderful fucking energy. This person has the potential. When I see the temperance in the soul, they're, they're awake. This is an awakened divine counterpart. Okay? Straight up. That's the easiest way to phrase it. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to say but in a minute? I don't know. Uh, but I do. This is the base card. This is the potential. This is what's there. This is who you're dealing with. Angel, my mechanic. He's a good guy. He's got a good job. He's good. And he can fix your car. And he could sure as hell tell your person that it's not out of gas. Okay? And if the car is broken, Angel could get it going. See, all my little analogies and jokes, they mean something. It's how I read energy. All right? Some people read it straight. You know? Uh, this is how I read energy. It all ties together. That's Angel, my mechanic, bookending the story I told you of the car where they're claiming it's out of gas or it's broken. Well, he could fix it. They could fix it with their soul. The soul would just turn the car right around and go back to the freeway and come catch up to you. Why is temperance here? Why? Why? Why, 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 why? Uh, yep, I told you. I hate it when I'm right. Why am I fucking right? Damn it. It's the five of swords. It's, it's, the fucking, it's like they're driving around with the fucking mechanic. They're driving with the mechanic. And and he offers to get out and fix the car so that he can, you know, no, there's nothing wrong with it. We're good to go. And they don't listen to him. You, know, you don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? I'm an ASE certified mechanic. Uh, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Five of Swords is self-sabotage. They sabotage their own soul with this nonsense that we've been talking about. But it's okay. Wait, before you get mad, hold on. I said, I have some sympathy for them. I, I know, I'm sorry. I usually, you know, I did call them a pussy earlier and, a, you know, and all kinds of yelling at them and candy ass and this and that. And they are, <laughs> quite frankly. But they are deer in the headlights. This is a lot to... Take it. That energy is going to be a blast. It's almost like a portal energy. It's just like a, you know. Uh, imagine a deer in the headlights, or imagine you know, remember those old cameras that, where they used to have the really bad flash cubes that came with them, and those things always blinded you because they they just flashed everything everywhere. Watch temperance here. Confusion. Seven of cups, and the eight of wands. Confusion. The soul wants to reach out. The soul wants to pull forward. Angel wants to fix the car. Angel wants to tell them to just let me take over and drive. Okay? Um, your, your person is confused. They're... Hmm, again, a deer in the headlights. It's too many options. It's, it's that freeze you get when there's too many options. Right? Hmm. Uh, they want to reach out. I see it. The Eight of Wands. Forward movement's trying to happen here, but it's Minor Arcana. Your person gets in the way. Okay, let's see what the universe wants to tell us. Right here, Three of Wands. Well, I already went off on that card. I'm not going to go off on it again. But again, a proof of that is the Five of Swords that's crossing there. That, that self-sabotage. It's a false victory. They see some kind of false victory in not having an angel fix the car so they can get back to the freeway and come see you. Okay? Some sort of false victory in that. They feel safe in the pentacles, yet they know that the pentacles aren't where the happiness is. And they need to go toward the happiness. Go toward the sun. Like on the Lightseer deck, the girl walking toward the sun on the Eight of Cups. I got the sun after the Eight of Cups here. It's a different deck. Same meanings. Right? Okay. All right. They're chasing rainbows, but they're not doing a very good job. All right. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? What else you want to tell everyone, universe, about this full moon energy? Why'd you give me the Three of Wands? Basically, the Three of Wands here is an excuse machine. Okay, it is. It's it, it's just backing up the message of someone who who thinks their hands are tied, but they're not. You're perfectly fine. There's nothing in that water. It looks terrific. Go get your board in the water. Three of Pentacles crossing the Three of Wands. Yeah. It, 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 the message here is baby steps, right? 
<laughs> taken from the movie What About Bob? I've brought, I've brought Bill Murray into my reading. Uh, yeah, baby steps. Uh, a, a journey of a million of a thousand miles begins with one step you know that kind of old Confucius sort of thing you know it, it, it is what it is a thousand miles million miles it all begins with one step right here the king of cups they there's love that's afraid to be given I would have rather seen it here I won't lie to you but it's here that scares me. Why is the King of Cups here? Yep, I, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I said, why? Because I read the energy first. But Eight of, eight of Swords again. Remember the Eight of Swords? Do you remember it? It was our, our card before the cut. The random white girl tied up in the front. I gave kidnappers some tips here on the video. Yeah, right here. Eight of Swords. I said I would rather have seen it over here. This would tell me they get past it. This does not tell me. This is the obstacle. The obstacle is your person. The obstacle to happiness, the obstacle to you two being together is the fucking excuse machine. In the Lightseer deck, the girl whose hands are tied in the front, who could easily get out of it, who's telling themselves that they're trapped, but they're not. It's a repeating message over and over again. But we do end with someone doing something. Let's find out what. Okay? Mm, why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Let's find out what they do. What are you going to do when they come for you? Alright, Seven of Wands. Why is it here? What's the final final on this universe? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I already know where the... I already see and feel the energy from the extended. <laughs> I already do. But I just need to see what this is first. Why do I feel like I already know? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I do. Yeah. Uh, it's the Seven of Wands. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This is good. It's communication. Everything is turning under. It doesn't matter what your person's doing. There's so much energy here. It's stretching all the way back to the portals that they've somehow, for some of you, have made it through. Okay, including the most recent 1212 portal, which was also a deer in the headlights. That, all that energy is still with them. It doesn't go away, per se. So, we've got a lot of energies around right now. It's powerful. The, the Wheel of Fortune, most notably here, is a 10 in the Major Arcana. 10s are the end, the transformation, that, re, that lead to some sort of transformation. In, in, the, in, in the tarot in general, the fact that the number 10 is here on the Wheel of Fortune tells me, yes, I, I'm right. I read the energy as them coming towards you, but there's two energies here. It's someone standing up and doing what's right for them and communicating, but n emphasis on what's right for them because it's tied to a uh, defensive energy. And we talked about this, I think, in the Mercury retrograde reading the other day, right? Doing what's right for them. Uh, but what is it? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, they are aware. We even have kind of a little. It's a, it, it's a rainbow, right? Chasing rainbows. Ten Pentacles. They see you as the Ten Pentacles. Okay, but they the Ace of Cups is sealed. There's a lot of love here. This person does not know how to process that. They know how to process Pentacles. They're okay with that. Notice this isn't a Ten of Cups. Okay. Which is fine. I'm just pointing it out that it's pentacles. And, and the symbolism and the placement of the card is important to understand. Because we've got a card here with somebody who's coming in doing what's right for them. But they're defensive about it. In other words, they're holding something back. They're, they're keeping something at bay. Like the Seven of Wands would, is, is often pictured as someone doing. It's because they really only understand pentacles. They do know that this isn't where the happiness is, but they're not quite sure how to open the Schlitz can here of love. Okay? It's, they, they don't, or they don't have a bottle opener, or they just don't know how it opens. It's, it's childproof on the top, and they don't know to turn it to match the arrows. Oh no, I've just told children how to open childproof things. I've done two bad things on this video that my lawyer is going to call me about. One, I have taught kidnappers how to properly tie up a person, and I've just taught children how to open a childproof container. Oh my God. All right, fine. It's the end of Steve's Love Tarot. All right, Three of Cups. Communication. But it's communication about pentacles. 
it, it is really strange. This is really strange with the Wheel of Fortune crossing. I, I, it's communication about pentacles. I'm not, I'm not just saying it because of the Ten of Pentacles. I'm saying it because it's red with the Eight of Pentacles. It's a very pentacle-y conversation about it. it hear me out on this. Okay, because here, here you go. It, 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 those of you who have logic receptors, prepare to explode. Okay, it is a conversation about love. It is a conversation about pentacles that's filled with love. Okay, it's a conversation. It's an emotional conversation about practicality. It's it. I don't quite know how to put the energy into words. It doesn't make sense, but it's true. It's what it is. This right here, and, and the universe doesn't want to talk about a third party here. I don't have a third energy. It wants to talk. I asked a specific question of the universe. I said, tell me about the moon energy on this connection and how it plays with the other energies around it. It causes someone to get in their feels. This is a card of someone communicating. The sun, the sun, the birds perch. It's communication that's here, that's happening right in front of you. That's right there. It's the Three of Cups. It's the flow of water, the flow of emotion. But it is completely surrounded by pentacles, and the love is sealed, so it's out of the equation. So it's someone who thinks they're opening up emotionally, but when you perceive it on the other side, it comes across very pentacly. Okay, that's the easiest way I can describe the energy to you. Let me go back to the original deck and let's pull three cards from the universe. Let's see what the universe. So, again, all of these energies, and, and the moon energy lasts for a couple of weeks, right up through the new moon, okay? So, all of these energies, again, are, are really just pushing someone towards you. Whether they're done cooking or not, your person is actually done cooking. It's crazy, I know, but they are. The temperance here in the soul shows me that. They're just ignoring it. They're self-sabotaging it. Remember, the Five of Swords was crossing here. They just refuse. In the lights of your deck, the Five of Swords is my coffee house guy. You know, he's got his head in his hand and he's the reason I make coffee at home, right? It's a card of self-sabotage. That guy, that guy is like that, is bumming money at coffee shops because he's just getting in his own way. He just went and get a job. He's got great computer skills. He could probably go make, you know, 60, 70, 80, 90 grand a year somewhere. And then he could afford all the coffee he wants. But he doesn't because it's, you know, he's just a self-sabotaging fuckwit. And that's what we got here. We've got someone with the potential here. Million dollar soul working at McDonald's. You know, that's the easiest way to phrase the energy. Because of the ego, because of the brain, because of pentacles. But yet at the same time, they know that the pentacles aren't where it's at. But they don't know how to open the cup. You get it? It's these, I don't know how else to explain the energy. I hope, I hope that makes sense. So the conversation is them opening up, but the only way they know how. Okay? And that's for most of you. I can't say all. It's mathematically impossible. You know? Just like it's mathematically impossible for all 12 signs to have blessings and miracles. You know, it's, it's not possible. It doesn't happen. You can't even get a pizza that's sliced in 12 slices where somebody doesn't get fucked with a little slice with no cheese on it. You know, good Lord. All right, here we go. Let's, let's give me three cards here, universe. What else you want to tell the collective here? What else you want to tell the collective before I go pull some wicked voodoo on this? What I don't have on the table is a devil. And I, I understand why. Again, the world is here as our overall energy. This, this person knows what they need to do. And the cycle, is. this is a powerful card. This, the universe trying to end a cycle. A cycle is trying to end here. And somebody is, well, this is the easiest way to phrase it. Eight of swords in it, right? Afraid to jump in the water. I don't know. It, it is. They are a deer in the headlights with this moon energy. It will be peaking for them. Okay? The love, this Ace of Cups, is going to be rattling. Right? It's going to be just rattling. I think I talked about that on the uh, uh, Mercury video, I think. I don't know. I get them mixed up. But it is. It's going to be peaking for them around the full moon and during the full moon energy period. But especially on the day of the full moon, at the time of the full moon and all of that, when it's at its peak energy. It's going to be, you know, so you might pick up on some of that, so don't freak out if you start having anxiety or some other shit. Don't freak out. It's, it's all cool. It's fine. You're just picking it up from the other side. Let it flow. 
it'll help them if you let it flow. Don't fight it or try to get all crazy yourself. You know, that won't help things. Just let it flow through you. You're always going to pick up energies from other people, people you work with and shit like that. You're always going to do that. You always just want to let it flow through you. Acknowledge what it is and let it flow through you. You can always tell it to go away too. Uh, my, my phrase is stop it <laughs> or fuck off. Either or. Either one will work for you, whichever suits, but everybody needs to find their own. Y'all snowflakes. Everybody needs to find their own safe word, if you will, or safe phrase. Apples. <laughs> Apples is my safe word. Everybody knows that. All right. Let's go. Message from the universe. Three cards from the bottom. Yeah. Look at this. Queen of Wands. Uh, Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands. I'm, I'm going to wait to show you the bottom card which is crossing the Knight of Cups. I'm going to read these first. These are red center, left, right. And I want to say something about that. Okay? When you're asking the, when you're talking, I know some of you pull cards, when you're talking to the universe, center, left, right is important. I watched a lady the other night on YouTube and she pulled three cards and she read them left, center, right. And it was a completely different, she couldn't understand why her message was backwards from her reading. And it was a, it's because she read them the wrong way. They can read differently if you do that. These are uh, in binary, in a binary universe, this is one, zero, one. You start from the zero uh, and then you work yourself. These ones are, are read together. They go together. Uh, it's very important to do that or you're going to give yourself or your people you're reading for the wrong fucking message. You could take my word for that or not. I don't really care. But that's how energy works. We live in a binary universe and the area code of the universe is 101. One being the singularity, the Big Bang, and all of that. And anyway, it's anyway, it's birth, death, rebirth. Anyway, so uh, red center, I just wanted to point that out because uh, I'm pretty sure that person watches me. <laughs> so, because uh, she steals a lot of my lines. Uh, right here, I don't mind. It's fine. There's nothing trademarked here. Uh, center, left, right. Knight of Cups, right? Okay, it looks good, doesn't it? They're coming in. Yep, they're coming in. They're coming in again for, like I told you, fake. This is a brave, impulsive action. All right? It's, it's, the universe is basically saying here, not, not all of your pre people are coming in. Okay? And I'm, I'm going to show you why. And I, know it, I know it looks like they're all coming in and they might be a little bit fake. Like on the outside, they might, you know, whatever. A good number of them are. Okay? And, th and that's true. But... Crossing, well, backwards, crossing the uh, Knight of Cups is Sarah Gilbert, the Two of Swords here. Um, there's, it's, it's, it, it's the universe repeating the message, it, it probably because I just told you for a lot of your people are going to be coming in, but it's not possible that all of them will. It's the same message. It, it's up to this, it's up to this person. They're going to need to take a brave, impulsive action. And I'm not sure if what percentage of them are going to do it but I can tell you when they do come in yes this person does not quite understand the amount of love that's here and they're going to try to hide it in other words the Queen of Cups she feels the love on a deep level but on the outside you know it's it's a little bit of pretense the Knight of Wands is a card can be emotional immaturity it is she's she's a party girl going to parties she should have stopped going to decades ago all right they're having the universe is saying they're having a hard time right like sarah here on the card having a hard time you know they're at a crossroads they're frozen they're stuck they're telling themselves that their hands are tied they're having a hard time with the love aspect okay the love aspect is tricky for this person the universe really wants to hammer that home for the ones where your person does actually push past and put the key in the hole it is again a very practical conversation that is there's so much love underneath it. it. It is. The Queen of Wands is here to represent nonsense of it. You know, uh, There is a lot of, a lot of love in there. And there's a lot of attraction here. I don't always, when I, you know, when I pull the Queen of Wands, I don't always get that energy. It is part of the meaning of the card. They're very attracted to you. Male or female, it doesn't matter. There's, there's, and I, I believe there's mutual attraction here. The person's just having a hard time with the love aspect. Okay? And it's going to take a brave, impulsive action for them to come in. It truly is. All right. That's your reading. Now, I'm going to go pull some wicked voodoo and find out 
Why? Why? Why are we... What is... Why are their hands tied? Why do they think their hands are tied? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, if you want the extended, the link's in the description. I want it, so I'm going to go get it. But, hey, it's up to you. I never push them. I never sell them. I don't care. Uh, but they're pretty cool. I'm going to do some wicked voodoo. I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. That's your reading. Good luck, everyone.